Hello and welcome to this video by made by Megan. Thank you for joining me today. Um, what we're going to do today is actually using these super cute Stampin' Up! boxes. We're just going to create a fun little tag and wrap it around with ribbon. Just wanted to show you that something quick and easy, you can whip something up quick and easy like this and make a super cute gift ready to give. So for making this project, we will be using the uh, some stamps from the Heartfelt stamp set, and this is in the mini catalogue. Um, and also we are going to use products from the Follow Your Art suite, which is in the email catalogue. Uh, so pages 52, 53 and 54 showcase the suite. And uh, what we're going to use is actually the boxes there. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but the mini shipping boxes. So we're going to use one of those and we're going to use some of the beautiful DSP um, from that suite there. It's so bright and fun and just crafty. I love it. Okay, so let's get started. I'll put those aside. Bring this in so you can see what we're working to. Maybe leave it there. Right, so I've got all my stuff here and here's the box. So it's super easy to put together. In fact, I might move that um, out of the way. Super easy to put together. It comes flat like this. So all we need to do is um, fold on all the score lines there. You can bring your bone folder in for this. She says reaching and I can't see it. There it is. Just to make the lines nice and crisp, um, I'm going to fold all of these tabs. Up. I'm just going to run my finger along those. Cool. And then I'm going to do the same with the bottom. Uh, now you can see the bottom um, it's self closing the way it's been folded so I'm just going to fold that flap in and then the opposite side that flap in because they need to go in first and then I'm going to bring the lid over and you can see there's a wee flap here already scored into the um, the box and then I'm just going to do a quick fold on the um, that line there the last one there. There we go. So I'm going to push it all the way through, fold on it, and that way everything's got a nice firm fold. And put those tabs in again and bring it through like that. Okay, and that's the box. Closed. Easy peasy. So you can fill this um, with shreddy paper and then some yummy chocolate treats. Or it's, it's, a, it's a really decent size. It's... Um, Oh, a little over 10 centimetres wide, not quite 7 centimetres high, and 7.5 centimetres deep. So that's a really decent size. You can put all sorts of stuff in there. Um, and then the top tabs just fold close like this. And of course you could use washi tape or something to close it, so it actually looks like you know a little parcel you get in the mail. Uh, I'm just going to grab a length of this crushed curry... Uh, crinkle seam binding ribbon and use that to close it and I'm just going to tie it off in a bow there we go fingers and thumbs for the video today of course right the box doesn't move around so much once you've actually got things in it as well so it's just quite light for me because it's empty and I want nice big um, loops on my bow so I'm not going to fuss about with that too much just bring that one back a little and there we have it okay bring in my paper snaps and just trim that off so it hangs over the edge that looks good Uh, and I'll pop that aside for now. Now we're going to bring in these pieces uh, and make the tag. So I've just selected a bit of the DSP I like. Uh, and that is 2 by 3 inches. 
and I'm going to grab the uh, scalloped tack topper and just making sure this is actually a directional piece of the DSP um, so just making sure that they're upright and slide that in and punch and I love this punch I think there's two different tag topper punches at the moment but I just love that design so quick and easy um, I'm going to grab a wee bit of my uh, Whisper White Twine apparently my scissors need a sharpen and I'm going to tie that through the top and this is how we'll tie the tag onto the bow, the ribbon around the box okay so that's the basic tag sorted let's get on to decorating it uh, I've got varying pieces of DSP and a bit of foil so the foil they're all random lengths uh, but the foil is I think it goes one centimeter wide uh, two centimeters wide for the foil and then this one no wait one centimeter this is why I don't say measurements on camera because I always get it wrong uh, I'm not actually going to write a blog post for this one so I'm trying to make sure I say the measurements in the video but of course, if I muck it up or if you have any questions, just get in touch with me. Um, one centimetre, one and a half centimetres for the foil, two centimetres for the that piece of DSP. And you can see they're all, so they're all going to be wider than two inches because they hang off the edge. But they can, they can really be a mixture of any length just to stick out from behind the heart there. So they're all there ready to go, uh, but we want to do some stamping. So I've got the heart, the dotted heart image from the, you can see this is the well-loved. I've very much enjoyed using this stamp set. So that's from the Heartfelt stamp set, and we're just going to stamp that down there. And I like to stamp before I punch, just so that... Um, I mean with photopolymer it's not so hard to look through and line up after you've punched but if you're using red rubber it's very hard to line up the stamped image with uh, one, if you've punched first so that's a little tip for you just um, punch first and then stamp first and then punch afterwards I am trying to say <laughs> there we go so this says so lucky to have a friend like you make a nice little thank you gift with this one so I'm going to grab the punch that is excuse me way over there of course um in the heartfelt bundle you get the stamp set uh which is in the mini catalog the and the duo punch um bundles it's got the straight edged heart and I'm actually currently using the other punch to hold my <laughs> camera so let's see if I can move it I didn't think about that and also the um, scalloped edge heart. Okay, so they come in a um, Joe punch pack. And um, they're on the last chance list for the bundle with the um, mini catalogue. So make sure you get on over to the website, Stampin' Up! website, just stampin'up.co.nz to check out the last chance products um, list and see what's still available because they are um, available while stocks last or until the end of the catalogue so when's that? Um, the 2nd of June okay so available to the 2nd of June or until stocks last or while stocks last so I've got a bit of vellum there I'm going to punch it out with that scalloped heart punch and I am going to adhere that down flat to the um, tag base there. Now, a lot of this um, vellum is covered by the heart there. So I'm just going to make sure that I have adhesive in behind, uh, in what uh, an area that's going to be covered. So I've just got some of my tear and tape here and I'll just take a couple of lengths. Put one like that. And a little bit more. 
here on that side. There you go. And that's easily going to be covered by that crushed carry heart uh, stamped heart on top. No problemos. Cool. And I'm just going to center that top to bottom just between the punched hole and the base and left to right as best I can. There we are. That looks good. And then I've got these um, pieces going down flat, so I'll just use my Tombow for that, my multi-purpose liquid glue. And because I know the edges hang off, I'm not going to put adhesive right to the two ends. I'm just going to have it in the middle. So I want it to mostly be hanging off this side, so I'm going to bring it in sort of nearer the bottom of the heart. And only a little bit sticking off this side, but mostly sticking on that side. Let's see if I can get this straight. I mean, straight is nice, isn't it, guys? You can you could try for that. Okay, I think that's not so shabby. We'll put on the foil paste. And then this nice thin, long, thin strip. And I've just gone for contrasting colours in these strips. Um, though all of these these two colours are in the background, so it's going to pick those up. But they're they're contrasting as well. So we're going to get. It's not going to all look um, really flat or get lost. It's all. Bright enough that it can shine through on its own, but it all works together too because there's colours in all through the layers there. Um, whoopsie daisies. Then I'm going to pop the heart in dimensionals, but because we're getting quite a lot of um, layers here, thickness there already, I'm just going to take the minis and I'm going to pop them oh, straight onto the vellum so I can see it's going to be lined up where I want it to be rather than sticking it to the heart and having to guess. Um, where to put them. Okay, one, two, three. And just line that up as best as I can as well for an even border. There we go. So quick and easy. We'll tie that on. And you can see the back, <coughs> I chose a piece where the reverse pattern was um, light enough to write on. So I'll just use a black pen to write through there. Um, Write my little message on the back. And now I've tied a bow so we can easily untie this. If you make it up without putting anything in to fill it, you can obviously just untie the bow, put in what you want um, when you're ready to gift it. But if you've tied a knot or can't get it off or whatever, um, it'll just slide off the box as well and back on. So that's no, not a biggie. Or if you struggle with tying bows and you think, right, I've tied it, <laughs> I'm not undoing it, I do not want to do this again, just slide it on and off the box, that won't be a problem at all. Just trim that off. So, um, that's enough for it to sort of hang over the side and move around. Okay, so there we go, quick and easy project today, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it just goes to show, you know, you don't need a lot of products necessarily, um, and you don't, and it's, we don't have to get really fussy and super involved to make something that looks really cute and which anyone would love to receive. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Uh, follow the link below the description of this video, um, and go and check out my blog if you haven't already. And, um... If you need to place an order to get anything from the Last Chance products or from the um, range of Stampin' Up! products, I would so appreciate your order. Um, it helps me get going in my wee Stampin' Up! Cra crafting business to be able to offer in-home uh, classes as well as online classes and these tutorial videos. So you can get in touch with me at... Megan Tear Made at gmail.com and I'll have that in the description below um, and you can also find me on Facebook and I'll make sure I have that link below as well um, 
Right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.